students and graduate students um, uh, study at the 18th faculties. Um, today, I'm going to work to what I have been done in, all in Indonesia, and maybe my work is combination between the uh, conventional breeding and molecular breedings. I'm working on melons, maybe the at the beginnings when we have uh, the plenary lectures in the morning, Dr. Hyrule mm, said that we have to focus in one thing that we are deeply disagreeing with, for example, mangrove, and also he said a kind of the aquaculture and attackers have so many things. We have to more focus and more deeply and something maybe we can contribute to our country yeah. and also to the world. So the overview of melon production in Indonesia, I'm talking uh, much more than how to facing the uh, the chapter, China um, Asian Free Trade uh, Agreement. And also the past and this is on melon Indonesia. Why? Because this is the key problems in um, our agriculture. Uh, production. The pest and disease they still have the big problem to reduce the production in our agriculture program. And the application, uh, Professor Maurice already <laughs> talked this one, and we also are uh, working on theirs for a melon seed improvement in Indonesia. And also just uh, overview the development of breeding program in melon, and I have been done in Indonesia. Okay, so let me see. There is no Indonesia, I'm sorry, also Taiwan, in the melon production, the big melon production in the world. You can see the China, the biggest country, and uh, supply for more than 50% of melon production in, in the world. So, um, why? Because Indonesia also still behind the Taiwan's um, productions. We still uh, under the 100,000 tons for uh, a year. So Taiwan uh, uh, two times for melon production than Indonesia. It's uh, about 120, 130 tons, a thousand tons in a year. So, but we are very happy to see that the production and also the harvest area Indonesia has been increasing, yeah, increasing. This is one the key why we are increase in this production because of the seed company. Seed also have a key uh, important for uh, development in, in agriculture. And this is the private um, company, seed company, working uh, mainly in horticulture seed company. Uh, we have to learn from Taiwan. Uh, in the early 80s, uh, many Indonesian farmers learned from uh, Taiwan farmers and Taiwan experts how to grow and how to cultivate melon in Indonesia. It's the early 1980. And at the time, know you, I asked Professor uh, Maurice also, know you is uh, one of private seed company from Taiwan and they have um, exported the best cultivar at the time we call a skyrocket cultivar. And right now they also skyrocket. You know, maybe very well, yes, skyrocket. Um, and also recently there are so many Thailand seed company and um, investment in Indonesia, including Japanese, Taki, and Sakata, and also Netherlands. The East with seed company, you no know, parties, this is from a Spanish and Seminis also from France. So many um, foreign country company, seed company come to in investment in Indonesia. Um, and do you know how much we um, we use a seed of melon in the years? This is a big amount, three point five tons seed, not 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 uh, not, not fruit, the seed three point five tons in the years because we have a, a lot of area in, in Indonesia. I would like to show you, this is the um, variety of melons recently cultivated in Indonesia. 
you see maybe a sky rocket <laughs> over there mm -hmm. so it's from now you and uh, so we have a, a lot of and the best now the best melon um, occupied and uh, widely cultivated in Asia is from Thailand action for three forest the, the biggest the biggest one and um, as for farming <coughs> system we don't have any problem with the farming system of course a uh, uh, farmer need a training for this one but they are also already um, practices all of this kind of farming system for example this is very traditional in um, Kulon Progo County the farmer uh, use this kind of uh, farming system and in the central Java mostly this one and using the trellising bamboo and also the uh, covered by the plastic okay and this is usually uh, using the greenhouse but it's a cooperation with the seed company yeah because this is cost costly and I already say to you so many and diseases <coughs> um, if we are working on agriculture in Indonesia as you see that uh, most of the seed is imported from uh, another country uh, you know the situation the past and this is Indonesia is a little bit different because of the, the environment is different than the, uh, uh, the, the imported um, uh, seed country so as you can see here the insects the past insects and also the disease mostly caused by the virus and also by the fungi is the big problem in Indonesia let's see this one you see um, even in Indonesia we don't have any um, good practices for the virus but recently maybe the, the, the government also pay attention how to be make more uh, better investigation from the seed import by the plant quarantine section and this is you see this is a powdery mildew a kind of mildew <coughs> in Bahasa we call jamur uh, <coughs> tepung you, you can see look like the powder yeah? and they are very uh, highly uh, destroyed when we are cultivating melon in the uh, dry season in the dry season mainly in July, August and, and also some some part is uh, June so this is a big problem for us so what I have been dance, I mainly focus on the three uh, fields. The first I have to study about the disease. This is uh, along with uh, pests actually, if we are talking about virology, they have the uh, uh, vector, the insect vector, and uh, the genetic and breedings. And also, Professor Maurice is already talking, we also apply what the molecular marker for the uh, molecular marker assisted for the breeding in melon. And uh, we survey on the incident of the all of the pests and disease in Indonesia <coughs> uh, from 2000 until 2001. So uh, now it's we, we are conducting this uh, survey because it's very, very important to know the dynamic, you see, in the early 80 until 2000, Cucumber mosaic virus is the biggest problem for Indonesian agriculture, yeah. mainly for the horticulture. And they are moving, <coughs> sending the Tobamo virus between 2002 and 2009. Okay. This is a big problem in Indonesia, according to our uh, survey. And now, recently, 2010, we're becoming the big problem with Begomo virus. This is now the the most problem in uh, horticulture production in Indonesia, Pegomophyllus, for the disease. Of course, including the fungi, also Vusarium, and also the um, for the mildew still uh, we have a problem. Next, and this is as you can see, also we uh, already study about the symptom and morphology of uh, Indonesian green model about mosaic virus in melon 
and this is the electron particle of the uh, virus and we already completed the genome uh, organization of this virus and it's already published uh, six or seven years ago yeah. and we are very happy because maybe this is the first Indonesian uh, virus genome we are submitted into the gene bank already yeah. and it's also a big because this is a virus as you can see only uh, 6,512 nucleotide but at the time I still use the old sequencer so <laughs> it will be take more than two years I completed this one but now maybe only one year or so less than one year I think you or uh, you can do this, this sequence already and yeah we already published it in the spider pathology and this is a poultry milieu also um, Professor Maurice, uh, 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 I'm sorry to say this is a skyrocket we, 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 we cultivated the skyrocket from Taiwan in our greenhouse it's accessible to, to, to powdery mildew yeah. so that's why we are paying attention how to uh, how to make a breeding program in powdery mildew resistant and this is the um, microscopic uh, structure for the, the fungi okay. and the next in the plant genetic and breeding so in Indonesia, Professor Morris also uh, pay attention. In Indonesia, we have a lot of the genetic resources, but when I when somebody asks to you, how much <laughs> do you have? We never uh, know uh, detail yeah, about our uh, genetic resources data. So the collection and characterization is key point to collect all of these genetic resources and to make a recording of the data is very important and after that and then we can screen which one the, for the benefit could benefit for us in the future and for future program or which one is not so uh, important for us and breeding study breeding study uh, for the conventional and then uh, the system gene to the plant disease, for viruses and fungi, and we apply the uh, molecular marker, and we develop molecular marker, <coughs> and also we apply the resistant gene analog, Professor Maurice. Uh, we, uh, uh, finally, we use uh, resistant gene analog. Because in Melon, there is no report the uh, resistant gene uh, right now. See, this is the uh, collection. Because I'm very interested in, in uh, cucurbit. Why? If we are working on cucurbit, you just spending only two or three months, you will get the uh, the offspring. <laughs> so very very quickly, you are working on the cucurbit. Yeah, compared to paddy maybe paddy more uh, or, or or corn or mice is more than four to five uh, uh, months. So this is the what I from. There are so many students from Bogor University, I think, uh, Bogor uh, in Agriculture Institute. So we already just published in the Bar uh, Hayati Journal of Biosciences in December 2011. So this, year. this is the local um, potential for the, the for the future because this Bartek, um, we still guess this is a melon, but I guess this is another kind of species in the genus of cucumis, yeah. because they are uh, 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 different, different from, from melon as usual. And you see, so many of you maybe like this one when Ramadan season, <laughs> fasting season <laughs> in, in Indonesia comes, and you also consume this one. Yeah. So that's a okay, so for this research, we um, get the, some data, the valuable data for breeding program. So many um, local cultivar, not only from Indonesia, from Japan, also some from USDA. We are checking using the uh, virus and fungi, and we believe that this um, cultivar can be used as a potential source for the virus and powdery mildew resistant breeding program in Indonesia. And then we are working on the. Uh, this is already. And using a conventional breeding uh, 
of course, it takes time. Uh, 2000 and there, right now, I working uh, for QS on this uh, uh, breeding program. And as you see, so when 2000 and there, 2004 is already released by Sakata because at the time I received the set grant from Sakata Seed Company. So this is already released in, in, in Japan. If you are going to Japan, maybe you can find this uh, cultivar already in the market. Yeah. But uh, for the research purpose, they allow me to uh, develop in Indonesia only for this is purpose, not for as commercial one. And then, when uh, we uh, discovered this novel gene, as a PhD, my PhD dissertation on this one, so and we are uh, we already published it. And the most important, not only for the publication, but we also developed the molecular marker. This is still part, Professor Maurice, but um, in 2009, we got the new marker is closer to the target gene, is 0.75 centimeter. So it's very closer to the, and, th and then this uh, molecule marker, we apply for the breeding program. Okay, so we also develop for resistant, uh, again, the poultry mildew. And then we are using the some soft market, and then this one maybe is very important for you. And we develop this breeding program since uh, I'm uh, returned back to uh, university. As most of you will be returned to your uh, home province, maybe. And then this is the breeding program, and we have now the Tachaba cultivar. This is a green plus. And this is the uh, our production. Melody gamma, less than se uh, 60 days, you can harvest it. Uh, less than 60, then, uh, 60 days. So it's uh, 56 to 57 days we can harvest this uh, cultivar. And this is the gamma melon basket. You see the line. So it's have a uh, 10 line. So it's uh, close to the symbol, our symbol. <laughs> they, they, uh, we we construct this way, and this is a melody gamma, and this is the development. And we already conducted more of the location trial uh, from 2000 to 2000. And right now, we also cultivated this. And um, I agree with Professor Maurice's uh, uh, opinions that not only for the food, but also this. You see the beta carotene. Uh, contain also increase for um, and, um, antioxidant and also for health and also uh, the vitamin C mm -hmm. we have the also checking for the vitamin C content this is I think also so important uh, uh, this is conducted by our st uh, student in the lab so they are improving the <laughs> as the extra curricular so they are very happy to make the ice cream from the melon. And also, um, please come to uh, my laboratory in the middle of July. We usually making this one because this is a harvest time. Okay, and this is the research week. So we uh, sell it because we have to introduce to the market our productions. And also, the, the most important, we are working together with the um, seed company in Indonesia. We make agreement because to go to the market is, is, is really hard for the researchers. Right. And then we are working together with the uh, seed company. And uh, sometimes we give a lecture uh, in the this company. And the farmer also, uh, Professor Maurice, this uh, afternoon give the suggestion because we have to strengthen the uh, farmer association actually. The farmer actually, and we, we need also to to train to, to training to train the the society. I think this is the our <coughs> level uh, for seed production. So we will go to Yogyakarta and Central uh, Japan. Maybe you will find this uh, this seed. And in my opinions, this is a strategy. So I'm working on here. So. Maybe this is a classical. How about the government, uh, the government effort to develop this 
uh, seed company in Indonesia. But even they are very few evils, we are, as a scientist or time reader, we need to study uh, from the step one to the step one, and then also together with the society. <coughs> That's why I already done in, in the Yogyakarta area. <coughs> okay, this is my conclusion. Awareness and prevention technology for <coughs> cucurbit, virus, and fungi disease have been given to the farmer. It is more important. And seed company, we already make a collaboration, and also is an institution or government. And we also apply the molecule marker for producing some small cell <coughs> system melon, and the application of resistant gene analog um, for identification of fire resistant gene. I think this is more important in the future. So that's all. <coughs> and I just want to say thanks to all of my uh, students and also to my founders. And also to IC3, IC33. IC333. IC3. Okay, for the invitation. Okay, this is my favorite. <laughs>